Assassination in Iran. The New York Times claims that Israel took out number two in Al-Qaeda in a James Bond-style operation in the heart of Tehran at the request of Washington. And every time that a targeted killing operation makes the headlines, it raises questions about whether it's moral or not, is it useful, what do you personally think about targeted killings? If we have no choice, then we have to. And even if chances are that our operatives will be hurt too. But by that, we're protecting the lives of many of our citizens. And there's nothing you can do. There's always this dilemma. Every time that there's a targeted killing, a few years go by, and instead of whoever you killed, come four or five others. Obviously, but in the meantime, for several years, and it also deters. Israel's image in the world is of a country that can reach anyone, anywhere, and take them out if necessary. And that's good. Why? Because this is how the world is. Because if I know that I can be reached, then I'll think twice whether to do something or not. Should Israel be seen in the world as a strong country to be feared? Preferably. Why? Imagine, if our neighbors were not afraid of Israel, what would happen? What would happen? From morning till evening, you'd only think about killings and problems and terror and whatnot. Today we don't hear about it. In recent years, thank God, it all came down and there's nothing to talk about. It's less than in any other country. Do you think that Israel's force will make it so that eventually we'll have some peace? Because we don't come to fight anyone. Peace can only come with a very strong deterring force where you're being feared. Until the world will change, we have to be the strongest. Dr. Leitman, how would you like for Israel to be seen in the world? as the source of love, of connection. So you confuse me. Israel should be both strong and also welcoming peace. These two things can go together? Yes. Here you have to have a gun with everything that we have, and here a bouquet of flowers. I don't know what. Really? There's no other way about it. That's human nature. Dr. Leitman, when I was a child, I was told that when you'll grow up, we won't need an army. We'll have peace. When my children were born, I told them the same. My son's already a soldier. Will this ever come to an end? And how do you define peace? A person, first of all, has to define within himself what this peace means. That love covers all crimes. It's in my attitude toward others. That I'm in my ego, and I have to cover it with a good attitude, with love toward everyone. And this way I, first and foremost, will be divided into these two parts, the force of good and the force of evil, and for the good to overcome the evil. And this is the kind of education that we'll all have to get.